Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see that? That's a star. Oh, that's a star. I just loaded into the game. I was going to scan the amiibos first. But, <laughs> there's a shooting star. Oh, this is a hunt now. Let's see, equip my gear. And I guess do the intro of the episode? Like I said, I did not mean to do it now. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we were in a hunt for all of the DLC items. And we got, we were able to get quite a few. We got six, if you include the Nintendo Switch shirt, which does nothing. But we got six, and this episode, armed with your permission for me to continue on uh, without your guidance and use a guide to help locate the the uh, amiibo or not amiibo the DLC equipment rewards I am going to be doing that this episode so all of the ones that we can get so all of the ones that are in an obtainable area uh, I am going to be or uh, not obtainable area explorable area I will be getting them but first where did this shooting star land Oh, I need to find the shooting star. It's not down there, right? I don't think it would be. It's not that. What is... It's weird. I would assume it... No, that's a campfire. That's... That's sad, man. I saw it. It was... It was there. I'm not crazy. And now I'm flying all over creation. Unless that's it. Unless that's it. It's a sneaky river snail. That's so sad. Wait. Wait. Oh, there it is. <gasps> yes. The Korok seed. Man, what is it with Koroks helping me find... Uh, I should probably equip my water gear. Helping me find... Treasure. Last episode, we found a... One of the the pieces of DLC because we discovered a Korok, and in the little Koroki cutscene, I it was the chest that we were looking for was in the background, and now, as soon as I'm like, oh man, I lost it. Now I'm just gonna do show off this Korok seed, so I'll put it in between the cuts to when I am actually looking for real things that I wanted to look for, and I see it. Oh, that is that is beautiful. Oh no. Did you fade because you despawned? Oh, if you faded because you despawned, I'm I'm so sad. But I know where it is. I'm not. My eyes are not leaving it. I'm not even looking at Link right now. I'm looking exactly where it was. Oh, and also, I need to remember. Uh, not even ami amiibo camera. I'm gonna take a picture of it when I find it, so I can scry for for it from here on out. Unless it despawned. Do not tell me that thing despawned. Right when I found it? No! No, 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 no. It's not gone. It can't be. I saw it. It was real. And now, it's not. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that one, that one moment in, uh, in Super Paper Mario, where we walked into a room, and there were 1,080 coins in the room, and as soon as we walked in the room, they despawned. This is what that reminds me of. And now, all we get is a guy who wants top quality sake. I am tilted already. Oh, boy. So, getting on with what I wanted to do. Hello, you are fast. Uh, can you see me? Thank you. The place where sinners were kept imprisoned is apparently to the west of Hyrule Castle on this island, which we've never been to before, so it stands to reason that we wouldn't know where it is. Here, give me a moment. What? That was weird. I canceled the sick animation. Go through the open it, camel. You're not... What? Oh. That is cool. I can apparently cancel. Wait for it. That is so cool. I can cancel the sick animation with my crouch. Oh, that didn't work. 
but my shield's not broken. Get up, Link! Uh, Mighty Lionel shield broke. I am bad at this game. I am bad at this game. Failing timings, which normally come very easily to me, but I guess I'm still a bit tilted after that whole star fragment. There. Okay, he's dead. My embarrassment and the proof of my embarrassment shall forever live on on the internet. Let's grab all of this cool stuff. And where is this... this prison? It's supposed to be on this island somewhere. I expected it to be right around here, but... It's not. Oh! Don't see me. Thankfully, those things are blind as bats. Seriously, you can be right next to one and they will not see you because they are blind and dumb. Blind and deaf, and it just... They're basically just... There? I, I mean, even if you engage one in battle, many times they, they forget that you're there. And I guess that's true of most guardians, but... At least the guardian stalkers will, you know, shoot you. These ones just kind of look at you and then move on. They're supposed to be really scary, and I guess I kind of expect... There he is. I guess I kind of expect them to follow the same pattern as the the things from Spirit Tracks, because they're like the same thing, but no, they're really dumb. Okay, what is up here? What is this? Is it a... It, oh, it's a Talus. It does not look like one. Okay, well, I'll fight a Talus. Sure, that's not why I'm here, but I mean, this is technically the episode of of doing all sorts of random stuff. Just, it's kind of the the throwaway episode. All right, I see how this is going to go. And Skrbloosh. Bye. <laughs> Man, Urbosa's Fury is so incredibly strong. It can w almost one-shot Stone Talus. It destroys... Whoa, this is quite the haul. It destroys uh, Lynels, and it just... It's so good. All right, so there's supposed to be a prison somewhere here. Oh, I saw movement over by that rampart, but there is none. But definitely I need to stay on the confines of this island. Get it? Because it's, it's a prison. Yeah. So is there an entrance on the side of this? Perhaps? Oh, yes. Whoa. Whoa. That's a slight overkill. All of those brambles. I didn't know we were playing Donkey Kong Country. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Here, let's... Let's snap a photo of that. Look at the fire. Embrace the fire. And embrace the... Probably the thumbnail for this video. All right, so it's in here. It's definitely in here, but that's not why we're here. We're not here for a shrine. We're here for a prison. But I guess I'll tackle the shrine while I'm here. A minor test of strength. Another one? We just did one last episode right next to this. I'm tempted to cut this out, but I know the fight will be so quick that, you know, I might as well not. But this one has an axe, so he's completely different. He has his own personality, and don't you make fun of him, or you'll get it. Oh man, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> look at him deal damage to me because I miss timings. Come on. Uh, okay, fine. I'll do it the easy way. I'll do it the easy way. Come on. Yeah, that's right. And... He's... Done. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. The poor thing. And the reward is... A royal shield. I am I am content with that. I've been burning through shields with missed guardian laser timings. So I I am okay with that. Also, there if you look at that, 
Look at my my gear. I have a Pokeball. I have two Pokeballs on my my vest. I'm not sure if that was intended, but they're Pokeballs nonetheless. But what I'm on top of right now doesn't show the prison is apparently the prison. So let's just peruse around. Also, don't worry about the lightning. I have the helm on, and is neither of these. Oh, are you kidding me? I need a rusty shield. But it looks like, regardless, is that it? Can't really tell with the rain. Oh yeah, this is it. The prison, or the place where sinners were kept imprisoned, is right here. This long into the episode, I finally found it. Phantasma. At the battleground where brave souls tested their skill. That would be... The Colosseum Ruins. Of course, why didn't I think of that? Do you see it? Neither do I. Well, Magnesis tells the tale and it's right in front of our face. Ugh. Ugh. And it sparks everywhere. Phantasma Helm, I'm guessing, because it was listed first. Yeah, Fan Phantom Helmet. Myths abound about armored phantoms that terrorize brave heroes. This helmet looks just like the ones they supposedly wore. It's a rather rare, rare find. We were so close to finding it, and upon discovering that it's actually, there actually was something at the Hyrule Garrison Ruins, I was a bit upset, but... Uh, duh, duh. It's right there. It was right here all along. <sighs> I'm sad. The place where soldiers once gathered is at the Hyrule Garrison Ruins, a little bit south of the the eastern intersection the phantom greaves await us so now let's let's equip that let's equip both sets actually look at that we get attack up of three the defense is not too good i'm not sure if we can upgrade this i doubt we can but we get attack up of three and we look pretty sick we look kind of scary here let's let's unequip this shield and the sword. That's that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not canon. None of these really are, if you consider where we are in the timeline. But it's cool. And we're scary. Yeah. Now, jumping into the second set, the Day of Village Ruin Misco Treasure journal to side quest uh, is where I'm going to stop or at least halt my use of a guide and instead use my sleuthing skills which found me quite a few pieces of of the equipment last episode to attempt to locate these at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria that seems pretty easy I think I can find that one on my own highest of three waterfalls is it you? No, not you. Oh! Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Hmm. The highest waterfall. So this? Is this it? Is that what I'm looking for? I've been checking every single waterfall. It is! Yay! I've been checking every waterfall north of... Whoa, Phantom Ganon Skull. Some believe this eerie headgear is inspired... Inspirited? Inspirited by a dark entity resembling the great king of evil himself. It's a rather rare find. Well... I should hope so. I should hope it's like one of a kind. And there's no more because there's only one Phantom Ganon outside of the times when there are seven. Okay. Next. At the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River. That would be Sar Saryon? Sarjon Bridge? Can't mistake it. The, play the bridge between small waterfalls is Saryon Bridge. And there is no, no if ands, or buts about that. 
Do 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 Oh, uh, and of course I land right next to you. Just go away. Go away. You die. Thank you. <sighs> Get the bananas. And where is my chest? There it is. There it is. I, I really don't want to kill these Stalfos. They're annoying to kill. And they're probably slightly less annoying to just ignore. Let's grab the chest. He won't shoot me. Set it on the bridge and get our thing. Don't shoot me, bro. And it is, thankfully, easy to find. Phantom Ganon armor. And the final clue for this hasn't been too difficult this time. I've only had to use a guide for the first hint. The broken stone bird of Ibarra Forest. Actually, it looks like it's a small search area. So let's just warp over to... Uh, Quika Nata Shrine and canvas the area, I guess. Let's start high because of the rain. The rain has always been a problem. Jump, slide, and up to the top with a sliver of stamina left. We're looking for a broken stone bird, which means I shouldn't have to. Wait, is it? Is this, this looks like, wait, is this a tree or is this a statue? I can't really tell. I think it's a tree. Which means we are currently in Ibarra Forest, so before I jump down and waste my chance. Why are there so many Yiga Clan? Go away. Seriously, every time I do anything, ooh, Mighty Thistle, I get shot at by stupid Yiga Clan. I need that <laughs> while the rock's in the air. There. Mighty Thistles are amazing, and attack up gear is awesome, so I need that. Alright. Broken Stone Bird. Should be relatively easy to find. Let's see, I've searched over there in my in my quest for the highest waterfall. So I'm really just looking for a broken stone bird. And you are not birds. As much as you are fly, you're not birds. Alright, broken stone bird. For like the 18th time, it's right there. Never mind. <laughs> Got it. That was easy. I didn't even recognize that this was a bird. I just recognized it was broken, and it was the only broken thing in the area, so it's... That's our thing. Phantom Ganon Greaves. Some believe, yeah, they're inspirited. All right, let's show this off. Let's show this off. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to show off the Tingle Gear. But first... Whoa! Disguise. What does that mean? We, so we have a, we have a stealth up, which is awesome. I love stealth gear, but it gives us a unique bonus of disguise, bone attack up. So does that mean that when we use bone weapons, we get a bonus? Oh, I get a cape? I have a cape? Oh, that's so sick. What? Oh, just a weird lighting thing. That is so cool. I'm just, I, I wish I could float. In fact, actually, what happens when I jump? If I jump off of something? No, that's probably a bad example. But the cape flies behind me. That is awesome. I, I like that. Also, it's a new way for me to use this, use my stealth tactics since I'm, I kind of main stealth in this game. I, the stealth is my jam. And now I can do it in, in a different way and in a cool way. But it gives me disguise. So I assume that bone enemies like Stalfos don't see me, but I'll have to look that up. All right, or you, I guess you guys could also tell me in the comments. That that's fine too. All right, what's our our next quest? We have the Xenoblade Chronicles thing, which I'll eventually get get around to. Uh, Thunder Magnet, Eighth Heroine, the De the Usurper King. Oh, I I can only s imagine where this is going. Let's see, in the swamp. Of the Valley of Dead Trees, south of Dueling Peaks. That's that's a good hint. Uh, Dueling Peaks are up here, and that would be <gasps> Tobio's Hollow has a purpose. Yeah, I <laughs> we were here, and I was so disappointed that it didn't have a purpose. But Tobio's Hollow. 
Okay, uh, closest place is this travel medallion, which I set on the peak of the Riola Spring. And then I'll head northwest from there. Oh, and as promised, I should probably show off the Tingle Gear, since I keep forgetting that. Tingle Gear! And you guys know it's gonna come with it. Oh, goodness. Night speed up. Because, <laughs> because Tingle is the terror that flaps in the night. Why do I get night speed up from this? Uh oh. Actually, you know, I can I can do better. No shield. No sword. No bow. Just our very creepily tighted body. And as you know, what has to come with this is let's see what can I do here? Ha! <laughs> Mr. Fairy, it is I. Me. Alright, going on. I, I'll actually show this, I guess. Uh, get rid of... Oh, I already got rid of the marker, so let's throw a marker on... On the hollow, following the purple, and let's get a move on. Now, as I go through here... I, I guess it's it's pretty obvious that I'm way more excited about some sets than I am about others, and it can almost seem a bit random about what makes me what makes me happy. Well, part of that is just due to the canonicalness, is if that's a word, if that's something I can say. There's that weird misty thing over there of the sets. I mean, Spirit Tracks is supposed to be the very latest game in the timeline. It's almost it's almost the end of Zelda. And unless it, this has been confirmed, which I'm not sure if it has, about it being about this taking place after it or if this actually has a place in the series, then we shouldn't be seeing the phantom armor. And that is a bull goodness. Uh don't don't hurt me, bro. I'm just a guy in tights. Okay, apparently He's scared of me like every every sensible person should be. But, so a lot of the, the armor, like a Midness Helmet, I, I can actually excuse, but the Phantom Gear, uh, Majora's Mask, and I guess that's it. Also, you guys can get a chance to see. Speaking of tights, <laughs> I am ready to throw down in the wrestling ring with this. With the, me being the Mighty Mask. But I guess I'm more excited about the things that I think should should and kind of are canonical. So the the early game, the early uh, franchise pieces of equipment, the things that are take place early in the timeline, that it just makes sense for them to be. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for looking for this. It's it should be around here somewhere. Hopefully it's not in. Oh yeah, I see it. I actually do see it. Uh, we should be able to kind of skirt the hillside here. Yeah, it's, it's in between those two trees. In fact, I'm just going to climb this. So, the Phantom the Phantom Ganon armor, I'm, I'm actually really excited about. Because Ocarina of Time is one of the... Or is it the second game in the, the franchise? In terms of the timeline. Or second game in the timeline, rather. Uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay, let's open it while it's flying in the air, and we get Zant's helmet with un whoa unfreezable, which is a, a new status effect. The ruthless usurper king of the Twilight Realm wore a helmet le much like this one. It's a rare find. Let's put this on. Hopefully, not with our <laughs> our mighty mask gear. That is cool. That is that is quite something. We get. Unfreezable, like I said, a new stat. Only is going to affect us against icy enemies. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily a a uh, heat or cold resistance item. But it gives us the ability to fight ice enemies without any concern. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, the next thing I'm going to get... Strange Mask Rumors... This is the one that I've tried to find in my own time, and I am unable to, so let's make it our marker, and I'm going to look this one up. I almost got aggro out, but then I realized 
We have we have the Phantom Ganon armor, and thus we can complete the look. This is very much, unless you look at the face, this is how Ganon looked in Ocarina of Time. I mean, he was, granted, he's a, a bit bigger, probably has about three feet on Link, because Link is very short for some reason, but this is how Ocarina of Time looked. That's great. It looks, and the cape flows. That's, I, I, I just can't get over this. This is such amazing looking armor. Am I, I am not headed the right way, am I? All right, so the Korok mask is in the Lost Woods. Now, last episode, I actually cut out a sizable portion of the episode where I, I attempted to track it down. I just, deci I decided it wouldn't, it just didn't really fit in the episode, plus we were approaching the time limit. And it was mostly just me aimlessly wandering around the Lost Woods. My thought was that I need to wander off in a direction where I, where the torches don't lead me. And then there would be a hole in the out-of-bounds uh, wall that would allow me to reach some hidden pocket and find the, the mask. I actually wasn't far off. That is exactly how you're supposed to do it. But there is a slight hint. It's not random, and if you are if you think things through, it actually does work out. And it's, it's, not, it's not dumb game design like we're used to in older games where... Uh, a good example is Super Mario RPG. There's this one portion where you just walk out of bounds, and it works for some reason, and there's there's no reason why it works. There's no indication that there's a secret. You just have to walk out of bounds. It's like, there it is! Good job! You, you found it! Uh, but this, this isn't that. They at least give you a slight clue. Though it is a nice callback to those old days of yore, where there were out-of-bounds areas, and there would just be stupid stupid exploits with that. Uh, so, let's see, we, we need to get into the Lost Woods. Man, that flip looks cool when I'm wearing this. So we need to get in here, into here and grab a torch. Uh, the torch should be... Actually, no, we don't need a torch. Uh, if I remember reading the guide correctly. We just need to follow the torches, as expected. But at a, a certain point, we need to stop. And I, I actually wonder... Uh, this way... I actually wonder if this is possible at the very beginning, where where you go here. Uh, I'll have to wait. Is this actually where I'm supposed to be going? Yeah, okay. Where you you first come here? I'll try it out in my master quest log. Although I guess that has the DLC, so it's not possible. So we're supposed to once we get these these two torches. There's a or these two sconces. There's a torch here, and then we're supposed to uh, follow this somewhere. And, and then use the torch to guide us. But, if we don't do that, instead just walk this way. Where they're directing us. Uh, I have a Magnesis equipped. We're supposed to be able to find a tree. Regardless of the wind. Regardless of everything. I mean, we're not out of bounds yet, so this is a good sign. But we're getting close. I'm still walking the same way, I think. You can see inside that tree, but it doesn't matter. Still walking. Man, this is a... Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, hello. That's not... Wait a minute. That's not quite where I'm being led here. That's a little bit off to the left. Right? Right? I decided to place a marker a little bit further to the off to the, the left side since I've been veering off to the right a lot and I found it it's just not exactly where the torches point but that's fine it's still a cool secret and it should contain probably one of the most useful masks in the game hello the EX chest with the Korok mask the Makar mask a mask inspired by those fun loving Koroks it shakes when one is hiding nearby it's a rare find. So, this is definitely one of the most useful masks in the game. And I'm just going to run into the abyss. Actually, no, I'll, I'll wait. Let's show this thing off. Oh, that's so cool. So, it shakes whenever we, we get near a Korok, which means I need to be wearing this at all times. It's kind of sad, but I, I do have to be wearing this at all times, or else I will miss out on a lot of Koroks. 
it kind of ruins the effect because it's so lighthearted and and hilarious but it's useful it's going to be granting me a lot of inventory space and come late game i should be able to just wander aimlessly through regions and find koroks left and right all right where's the next thing that we're looking for here Garb of Winds, where the Minote River was born. Where? What is the Minote River, I ask? So, it's at Cora Lake? There. Our old nemesis. Now, before I jump down here, because this is exactly where the Minote River was born, it appears that there is a Korok seed on this ledge. If I had worn my mask, I probably would have seen it, and I probably should have tested it out to see what it looks like. But there's still a Korok seed there. Alright, let's jump down. And I did think that this place was really suspicious when I was first here. Yeah, and that's why. Normally, rivers don't have this weird cave underneath them. But this one does. And I thought that was very strange. I didn't think it was like a modeling error either. It just didn't seem right. And that's because they designed this, or at least I hope they did, they designed this for use when the DLC would come out. So let's grab this chest. And this has, I don't even remember what the, <laughs> what this quest was called, but we'll find out what it is together. The Island Lobster Shirt. The Hero of Winds once wore this shirt on the quaint island he called home. They say he wielded the wind to travel the ocean wide. It's a rare find. And this gives us what? It looks like it gives us heat resistance. Yes, because I, I could probably read and find that out myself, which is very thematic that it gives us heat resistance, and it looks pretty good with this, with this armor. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Alright, the next place that we need to go, or the, we're actually almost, we're actually very much at the end of this, Railguard Rumors. Uh, we haven't gone there, but we can. Actually, that's a... No, I'll deal with that in a second. EX Treasure, Merchant Hood. I know exactly where this one is. They kind of spell it out. The right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Dracozu Lake. That would be... Uh, right up here. Spring of Courage, Dracozu Lake. There's a dragon right there. It's on the right hand. This is like the easiest one yet. I guess he does have hands, doesn't he? So, Magnesis... I even see it. Wow. Like I said, this is the easiest one, bar none. They kind of spell it out. I didn't even know you could get up here. It makes me think I should go to the the other side and see if there's something in his left hand. Rafito's hood. The hood of the traveling... I was expecting beetles, like something beetle would wear. It increases your sideways climbing speed. That's new. And it... <laughs> I just realized how thematic that was. At first, I was I was wondering why our sideways climbing speed, but no, that's because we can merge with walls. So let's climb down. And for those of you who have not played, ooh, that's fast. For those of you who not, have not played uh, Link Between Worlds, I will not spoil why it was Ravio's hood of all things that they're that they're making do this. Uh, I, I'll just say Ravio is a very important character in that game, and. He's not just a gag character, he's he's pretty important. You couldn't really could beat the game without him, actually. Well, go Kata Shrine. Why are we here? Well, the last thing I would like to cover this episode is... Wrong menu. The ex-Royal Guard Rumors, which is found at Riverside Stable. Presumably inside, presumably a rumor mill, because it kind of says it is. Hopefully it's not a giant quest, but it should be... Interesting nonetheless. Super Rumor Mill X. Volume 4. Oh, I forget. it's Tracy. From the moment I wake, from the moment I sleep, my mind is full of rumors. Even my dreams are gossipy. Tracy here. Uh, you, you find folks keep up with dream rumors too, don't you? Well, this one's so good it might as well be a dream. Listen up, history buffs. This tidbit is about the brave soldiers who were tragically wiped out during the Great Calamity. The royal gods who protected the royal family. Amongst Hyrule's gods, only the best of the best had the honor of guarding the royal family. Apparently, the equipment they wore can still be found somewhere in Hyrule Castle. 
They say a former maid spoke of treasure near the dining hall, in the guards chamber, and on the second floor. I hope, I do hope one day Hyrule Castle is restored to its former glory, complete with royal guards. Hmm, I wonder when a royal guard in shining armor will come sweep me off my feet. Tracy recommendation, five stars out of zero. Or five, I'm, I'm British. So, we need to go inside the thing. Okay, so that's something that will not be covered until endgame, I, I presume, because I don't want to go to the Hyrule Castle yet. I don't want to beat it, because then when it comes time to face Ganon, we just kind of waltz through an area we've already been to, and then we just knock on his door and, and eat him up and kill him. So I'd rather let save that for later in the game. Which is sad, I would love to see what the Royal Guard armor, or Royal Guard whatever it is, is, but it's going to have to wait. Alright, uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully we didn't go too far over time. I did try to keep it manageable, and, and hopefully it's not too short or not too long. Alright, next time in PAL Plays, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My thought was that we would cover some of the older quests... I mean, that's, we can't cover that, we can't cover that, but we can cover things like the Thunder Magnet, uh, the Hero's Cache, 17 of 24, I have no clue what that means, and we can, we can look for some of these things which have been sitting around in our, our side quest menu for quite some time, and are still in our memory, and thus we should probably tackle them before we forget what they are about in the first place. So I think that I might do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, once again, I also thank you for allowing me to to look some of these up. I didn't look up a lot. It's only been about two, maybe three tops that I, I ended up looking up. For the most part, I just relied on my own sleuthing skills. And I, I conquered it that way. But still, I'm glad I got your permission, so I was able to do that. Alright, uh, there's a blood moon. Can I... Do I have to stand on top of this? Get up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bo. Bo. Where is this? There it is. Flick. Oh, no. Flick. Uh, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I release no shows of, of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Lee? Yep. Spit it at me. Spit it at me. Come on. Perfect. It hurt a lot. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I need it. Where'd it go? Oh, whoa. They're, they're playing catch with it. Where'd it go? Got it. No. No, stop. They're... Give it to me. Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it. Let's get out of here. <laughs>